My Magic Desk is a complete and utter disaster. In fact, that's part of the reason why I'm at my local game store instead of in my studio, because it's, it's a mess right now. And this is the before shot. This isn't even the current situation happening right now. So I've been on the lookout for items to help me organize not only my collection, but also just all the other random various stuff that I use with my trading card game addiction. I'm just gonna be right out there and say it, folks. It's an addiction. Full disclosure, these items were sent to me for free by MTech Cave, who is the sponsor of this video. So not only did he send me these for free, this is a sponsored video. So please be aware of that. That being said, this is a small mom and pop organization that I really want to get their signal out there. I want to boost their signal as best I can because I think they have some really great stuff. Micah, who is one of the owners of MTech Cave and the designer of all of these items, I think is a wonderful designer and I really want to get his ideas out there to as many people as possible. That's why I was very proud to have MTech Cave sponsor this video. I cleaned up. Just don't look over there. I said, I said, don't look at there. Don't look. Full, full disclosure. I paid for this. This single row drawer I paid for with my own money and I plan to buy more spoilers. What we have here are a bunch of accessories for local game stores to display various products, but don't run away yet. Now I did look at all of these items from the perspective of a collector. Some of you may be local game stores or you may know your local game store is looking for better displays or better ways to show off their products. And that's great. And if you are, please stick around for the rest of the video, send it to anybody else that you know that might be interested in these items. Could they solve other problems or help make things a little bit easier for a regular collector. And I think a lot of these items can. We have a lot of items to get through, so let's get to it. Also, before I forget, MTech Cave just launched a brand new Kickstarter. It is revolutionizing the hobby desk. This is a modular desk system that has modules for mini painting, trading card games, Legos, and more. There's gonna be a lot of great stretch goals. Please check it out. I think it's a fantastic idea and I really wanna see it do well. It's running for another couple of weeks as of date of publish, so be sure to check it out before the Kickstarter's over. There's a lot of great deals. Yeah, now on to video. The majority of these products are 3 16th ply laser cut wood. They come flat packed, so you do have to glue them together, but if you use a good wood glue, you clamp them together or you use tape or you sit stuff on top to hope that the gravity keeps them down because you're out of tape, and the glue gets a good solid hold, these things are gonna last you for a long time. I also have some 3D printed versions of some of these items. MTech Cave does offer the STL file, so if you have a 3D printer and you wanna save some money, you definitely can go that route. A lot of these items have a stackable option where there are grooves in the top and bottom, so that way you can have multiple rows. Micah and Michaela over at MTech Cave have a lot of great ideas coming out. Also, they can fully customize your product with engraving, so be sure to inquire about that if you're interested. The first group of items we have here are the card displays, both the individual options here, as well as the larger trays that can hold a lot of cards. The individual card displays are excellent for both local game stores and collectors. The local game stores can use them for highlighting high dollar cards they wanna move quicker, while collectors can use them just to show off their favorite card or even use them in Commander. This takes up less space on your play mat. If you don't wanna use the wooden ones because either you don't like the look or maybe you have them in something bigger than a top loader. The 3D printed ones, while they can accommodate the regular sleeves and top loaders as well, they also can accommodate bigger holders like magnetics and graded cards. These larger displays are great for displaying a lot of cards in a very small footprint, comparatively speaking. And these come in different sizes as well. There are some that can hold top loaders while others do magnetics and graded cards. You also can pick up the 3D files for those as well. Or if you're the type of collector that goes to a lot of swap meets or yard sales or something like that, neighborhood yard sales, and you want to show off a lot of cards that you're trying to sell, you can use them like a local game store. This will take up less space on a table at a yard sale or a swap meet or a local 
you know, selling thing that people go to to sell stuff. These are interlocking displays. This one is made for top loaders. There are others for graded cards and magnetics. You can hang these up on the wall and they're interlocking and they look really nice. You could even use this to display a bunch of cards at home if you want to. Moving on to the Chessex displays. These are those little boxes of dice and those tubes of dice you see at your local game store. Well, this shelf right here fits the Chessex dice perfectly and they look great on a shelf. Here we have the displays for the tubes. I think these are really clever because often these Chessex tubes are hard to display. I know my local game store actually stopped selling them because they had a hard time figuring out a nice way to show them off. This display solves that problem. Now I'll admit, I didn't really find a collector use for the tube display, but I did think of one for the shelf for the Chessex cubes. This isn't necessarily trading card game related, but if you're a mini painter, these are actually perfect perfect for mini paints, for things for Citadel paints, Vallejo, Army Painter. They are great for that. And one thing I really like about these, especially for Army Painter, the front row doesn't block the colors of the second row. That's something that drives me nuts on a lot of displays. I actually have a 3D printed display specifically for Army Painter paints, but I can't read the second and third row paint colors, so they're kind of annoying. I, I, I ended up not using it despite the fact it looks really cool. This is set up in such a way that you can see the second and third row. It's fantastic. Now we're going to move on from displays to dispensers. And the first dispenser I wanted to talk about is the pack dispenser. Now, many of us are familiar with the pack dispenser. Most of our local game stores have them. Usually they come in a big clear acrylic box that allows you to have multiple sets be dispensed where these are just individual dispensers. While they're individual, there are options to hook them together. There is an option where you can get ones with hooks on the back so they can kind of fit together and be one unit. Also, there's a new option on the website where they have magnets so they can magnet together. So they basically just click together and you don't have to worry about them getting misaligned. And we all know how these work. You just put the packs in and you slide a pack in this slot here to show what type of pack it's dispensing. Also, another thing to note about these is when these run out, you just have to refill the one that runs out. Whereas those big acrylic ones, often you have to take the whole thing apart to refill one type of pack. Also of note, the section here in the front can can hold Commander Legends packs and Jumpstart packs, which a lot of the acrylic and older pack dispensers cannot. The same is true for the 3D printed ones as well. You may notice some of the dispensers are stained. They're a different color. They've been stained with a finish. This actually isn't an option anymore. They were providing that, but now they are no longer providing a stained finish, but that gives you an option to do a finish if you want, or you can leave them natural which works too. Now I could see a collector wanting to use this if they draft a lot and they just want to have a nice organized space to put their draft packs. I know some people will buy a booster box and then open it over time. They won't open it all in one sitting. They'll open one or two packs a day and it looks a lot nicer than an open booster box sitting on your shelf. But if that doesn't appeal to you, putting packs in these doesn't appeal to you and I could understand why, you could do something else. You could use it as a land station. This is actually an idea I had. You could get five of these and put each type of land in it. So you could have it as a land station if you draft a lot. Or if you're just building decks, you just put your favorite type of each land into the dispenser and there you go. So what if you pull out more than one at a time? Usually when you're pulling out lands, you want more than one at a time. Now our next option I can say wholeheartedly is useful for both the local game store as well as a collector. And that is the top loader slash sleeve dispenser. These will dispense one sleeve or top loader at a time. So that way you can send out cards, protect a particularly valuable card, and I really like this. For local game stores, the applications are obvious. Instead of having piles of top loaders randomly behind the counter or in your office, you can have them nicely stacked within this, you can pull out one at a time, and you're good to go. For collectors, especially collectors who send out cards, this is a great option because you can have this near where you send the cards, pull out a top loader whenever you need it, send it out, and then when you receive cards and you get them them in top loaders, well, you take the card out of the top loader and you put it back in the top and you're good to go. And it's there waiting for when you need to send it later on. This is a great way to save money because then you're not losing those top loaders from cards you've received. You've got them right here and you don't have to buy any more when it's time to send out cards. And again, you could use this as a sleeve dispenser or a land dispenser if you want to, or a double-sided card blank card dispenser thing or a token dispenser. Just you can dispense anything you want. 
out of this. This here is the Dragon Shield dispenser. And again, I think this is a great option for both local game stores and collectors. Obviously a local game store will need more of them, but a collector could still find one or two of these useful. For a local game store, this is a great way for them to display a large array of colors of dragon shields. And what you can do, you can put one of the sleeves up here in this slot, so that way people know what kind of sleeve is in that particular dispenser. Or another option that I've seen some folks do is cut off the front of a dragon shield box and put that up here. So if this is matte blacks, they'll cut off the front of one of the matte black boxes boxes and put it up here so that way it advertises that these are Dragon Shield dispensers. Now for collectors, I know a lot of folks like to use a particular type of sleeve. For years, for me, it was Dragon Shield black mats. So I usually would have one or two extra boxes, at least usually more than that, of unopened Dragon Shield black mats lying around. This gives me a nice organized space to keep them whenever I'm not using them instead of cluttering up a drawer. And I'm happy to report that Cortex and Katana boxes fit in here as well. In fact, you've probably realized I don't have a Dragon Shield box in here. This is loaded up with Cortex green sleeves, and this is just a great way to keep myself organized. You can also pick up some 3D print files for these vertical card spacers. Again, these are really universal. If you're a local game store or just a regular collector, basically they sit in your card boxes to make sure your cards don't fall over and they work great. So if you have a 3D printer, definitely check these out. These are awesome. And here is a beast of a sorting tray. I love this thing. This particular one is a pretty much a tank because I didn't follow directions and I wood glued the entire thing and not just the outer edges. So yeah, you could probably chuck this thing against the wall and the wall would break before this thing did. The build and the look of this tray is just awesome. And it can be used for sorting or it can be used to display cards in a case or on a counter. I honestly think anybody could use sorting trays. And finally, we come to this drawer. This is a single row drawer from Mtech Cave. These are very similar to the three row drawers I showed you a couple of months ago. I love these so much. In fact, for me, the one row is perfect. The three row was near perfection. This is perfection. This is exactly what I was looking for to manage my collection. I've already bought one. I will be buying more. One other thing I love about these is they're inexpensive. Yeah, if you buy 12 at one time, that's going to be a pretty penny. But if you buy just a couple at a time, pretty soon you will have a completely custom card catalog for your collection. Now you could look at some of this stuff and think, yeah, that kind of works, but why spend the money? And I think that could be said for a lot of stuff. These are clever products for what they were built to do. But I also think they could be useful if you're looking for a solution to keep your sleeve boxes more organized or just keeping your sleeves organized, anything like that. Oh, in fact, I almost forgot. This here is a land station and I don't have lands in it because I don't draft at home. Now, this is a land station. You could use it for a land station. Local game stores would probably like one like this. If you draft a lot, at home, then this would be great for that. But I don't. I still found this useful because it can hold my most used sleeves. And here are the colors that I use most often. Here are the perfect fits. And here is miscellaneous. These are the random sleeves I purchased over the years. As you can see, I went through a petrol kick a couple of years ago. But yeah, this is a great place for me to put all my loose sleeves. And it wasn't made for that. Just because something was made to do a particular job doesn't necessarily mean it can't do something else just as well. And yeah, some of these ideas I gave you in today in this video might not be perfect for you. But I know there are a lot of folks out there who might like the ideas, or they may not like the idea I proposed, but it gives them inspiration to try something similar, but works better for them. Give it a shot, take a look at it, check out the affiliate link down below. It gets you 5% off your purchase and you help out the channel, or you can use the code FDS at checkout. And a big shout out to the End Games in Charlottesville, Virginia for letting me film here and letting me take up some space and basically just be a general nuisance. I really appreciate that. They're great group of folks. So ch check them both out. Mtech Cave, The End Games, they're both great. Thank you so much for watching and y'all have a wonderful day. These are the cubes and tubes of, why did I say that so weird?